So hello guys, what's up people? Yeah, I'm back. I'm back from Singapore. So this video will be talking about what are extension tubes? Like the one I have here. Extension Extension tubes. There you go. Extension tubes. What are this? Well, to give you an example, I'm going to take the other lens that I have right here. And this is what it does. Okay, you see this? This is a 51.8. And the closest distance that it can focus is uh, right there. 0 0.45 mil meter, right? Uh, it says right here. Or 1.5 feet. What that does to that is decreasing the closest distance that you can focus. So, for example, your object is right here. And let's say 45 centimeters right here. So minimum focus distance when it is focused at the macro mode is going to be around right here. But what if you use one of these extension tubes because there are like parts of this. If you use one part of it, it goes closer. More? Closer. More? Closer. Mm, closer it gets. Okay, we're out of focus, but we're back in track. So, how do you use this? Very simple. First you choose a part you like there are a few parts right here you can see you got your 13 21 and 31 millimeter the bigger it is the closer you can focus so let's say we take the 13 millimeter so looks something like this okay and then what you do is to mount this on the tube and then mount this part on your camera right there so now the distance is basically closer than 45 meter okay so I got some sample shots taken with the hmm, taken with the 13 millimeter one the first thing like this this is the thinnest one and the second one which is the 21 millimeter and then the last one, the 31 millimeter. And then, as a wrap up, I also took a sample shot while mixing three of those together and how close you can get. And the lens I'm, I used was this 50 millimeter. The reason why I used this was because it stuck at one focal distance. So you can see closer it gets. Yeah, I guess that's how you say it. I'm not sure. But. So these are the three pictures that I took. The first one you can see right uh, right here. This is the one taken with the 13. So 13, yeah, 13 millimeter. Let's get, let's get see. Let's compare, I have one picture right here taken without any tubes, okay? So that that's one. This one is the 13. Now it's the 21 millimeter right there. It's pretty hard to focus actually, but I'll I'll tell you more about it later on. And now for the last one, 31 millimeter. A well, second last. You can compare it to the original one without any tubes, and this one is the all together mix all together, and this is what you get. Okay. Now here's the side effect of using this and using filters for macro shots okay They're, they also come with filters which is the same thing the side effect of this is that the longer you put like since your camera body will be right here and then the lenses move further away to the sensor that means less light are getting in and so you either have to use higher ISO or you have to use flash that's my choice I like to use flash on this, but if you're using the 13 millimeter, um, the shutter speed is gonna only gonna decrease a little bit, so it doesn't really affect. But the more you put, less light is gonna come in, so you got to make sure your shutter speed is pretty high, pretty fast. And yeah, that's basically it. Oh, there are also two types of extension tubes. One of them is the manual focus one. Um, take a look at this. Th 
it says C A F. That means it is in continuous autofocus mode. So simply means you can autofocus in this tube right there. See this thing? That's for autofocus. You can autofocus with this expansion tubes. But without the AF, you have to manual focus, and it's pretty, pretty hard. Just like that. I get it wrong. Okay, like that. Well, you can get pretty cheap ones. You can get pretty expensive ones. I think this is the cheap one, if I'm not mistaken. I like to get cheap stuff. I'm a cheap guy. But, yeah, basically that's all. It's, over, it's almost six minutes now. Well, I hope you like this video. Ah.